Welcome back. Recently I've made one of the best decisions I've made in a long time and that is to have my latest meal of the day in the early afternoon. I've seen Brian Johnson, somebody who's actively very involved with his health and lowering his biological age, and he said that it has had a great positive impact on his sleep. I don't have a very accurate sleep tracker, just a sports watch that has some data on it, but my sleep in general still has been so much better than before. I feel amazing during the days since I've implemented this change, and this is also the reason that I want to share it. I also saw somebody else do it, next to Brian Johnson and I with the same effect. But this is not only anecdotal. There have been studies looking into this phenomenon and one study found that eating an early dinner led to improved glucose regulation the following day. Another study with almost 800 participants found that people who ate within the three hours before bedtime had significant disruptions to their sleep, obviously decreasing their sleep quality. I eat my final meal between around half past one and half past two, basically further length lengthening the time between my eating and sleeping compared to these studies. So why would eating your last meal earlier improve your sleep? This could be due to a few factors. First of all, of course, once it gets to the evening, your body creates melatonin the hormone promoting sleep and melatonin is shown to reduce insulin secretion once you eat something. So normally when you eat something insulin is released and this allows glucose to be taken up by uh, the cells of your body. However, when there's a high level of melatonin present, less insulin will be released, so less glucose will be taken up by your cells leaving more glucose in your blood. This high amount of glucose in your blood or hyperglycemia is associated with shorter sleep. Another factor that could decrease sleep quality is simply stomach discomfort. So when you've eaten something you can really feel the digestion and especially if it's close to bed this can significantly impact sleep quality. Another factor could be just the heat due to the digestion that's going on. So uh, when, you're, when you've just eaten something, blood will go to the stomach to help the digestion. Your stomach needs oxygen to digest, it's an energy consuming process. So that heat might also keep you up. Now let's move on to the impact of sleep quality. Sleep is crucial to the normal function of anybody and you probably already know this. Good quality sleep improves your mood, it improves your ability to do literally anything, uh, physical tasks, cognitive tasks, and it simply uh, repairs your body from the stresses of the previous days. Sleep also allows for learning, as your brain sorts and stores the information from the previous days. Poor sleep has the opposite or the negative effects, such as simply not feeling good or feeling tired, not being able to concentrate. And on the long term, sleep deprivation can lead to chronic diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. One study actually found that if people slept less than 7 hours on average, their increase of death by heart disease increased by 13%. That's not a reason to improve your sleep, I don't know. Since this has had such a profound impact on me, I would highly suggest you to try this out as well. In the future I will try to do this with some actual sleep tracking data to back up the statements even more. Uh, but for now you can try for yourself if it works for you. And you could also share this video with people you think could benefit from this, like somebody who is having bad sleep. Of course it also takes some time to adjust to this new eating schedule. Your, your body will still be expecting food at a regular dinner time. Uh, and it will start to secrete the relevant hormones like ghrelin, the hunger hormone, so you would like to eat in the evening. So it might be a bit hard at first to get into the new rhythm of eating dinner early, but once you get there it's just as having dinner uh, in the evening, but your sleep will hopefully be better. See you in the next video and I hope you found this helpful.